the Strybog SP9A3. Let's check it out. Pistol caliber carbines in the pistol configuration are just extremely popular and for good reason. Uh, they're very compact and they, with the addition of a brace it gives you a lot of advantages over a standard handgun. I mean these make a great truck gun, they make a good home defense firearm and they're just easy to stow and they're just fun to shoot. Then Grand Power introduced the Strybog which is a 9mm blowback action really small compact package. Uh, these were made for the Slovakian Army as a full auto machine gun so they're very robust and they can about handle anything. Uh, but one of the big advantages of the Strybog is the price. Uh, these have been very reasonable and yet the quality is there. And so we're going to take a look at the new Grand Power SP9A3 which is a roller delayed blowback action which makes it really soft shooting. When I first heard that Grand Power was coming out with this firearm, I thought, yeah, there's some good advantages, but you know, I don't really know what the big deal is. Once I took it to the range, I understood what the big deal was. First, we're going to go with the SP9A1. Now the SP9A3. Wow, man, that is a huge difference. So smooth, you don't get all that blowback like you do with the typical blowback actions. Very flat shooting. Now, Gun Zone Deal sent the SP9A3 for this test and evaluation and review, and we really appreciate Gun Zone Deals. All right, guys, I'll just be honest with you. I knew that the SP9A3 would be an improvement, but I, I like the SP9A1 so much, I just said, okay, whatever. <laughs> And man, once I got this thing out to the range, guys, it's such a big difference. I mean, it really is. It's not a small difference. This is the SP9A3 with the delayed roller blowback action. Uh, there's a lot of improvements, but yet overall, there's not a lot of improvements on the exterior. I mean, everything's pretty much the same. We're going to go ahead and go through a full review because a lot of people are just going to hit this video and not necessarily go back. But I'll have it annotated above if you want to see the original reviews. Of course, let's go ahead and remove the magazine. We're going to check to make sure the gun is empty, and it is. Now, you do get three 30-round magazines with the firearm with the improved uh, steel feed lips. But this was to address some cracking issues that some people had. They said when they left them fully loaded over an extended period of time, uh, we have had no issues with the original magazines. I've been very pleased with them. So this is just a good improvement, and there are some other things about it. The new mags make a big difference. Uh, one thing is, of course, you see the metal feed lips on the new mag, but even the body of the mag is definitely thicker uh, with the new one. Uh, it has a little more thickness in the material where the original just seems to be a little bit thinner. Also, you'll notice that the magazine release is very definite here, and it is metal, a little bit larger on the original. Of course, with the metal feed lips, uh, you're getting more reinforcement at the top of the mag. But one thing you'll notice is right here, there's a cutout. It's kind of rounded. This is more definite. This is going to be for better feeding. The orange follower, a little bit of an extension right here to force that round into place. And then the feed lips are very thick. And actually, they kind of come in together a little better to guide those rounds. Uh, here, it kind of pulls in close. And so this is going to aid in feeding as well. And then even here at the back, the rib is covered. And so this is just going to give you a lot of strength at the top of the mag, where it goes into the mag well. 
even the mag stop is more pronounced. With the new followers, we have a guide here for your magazine spring. Uh, you can see that there's definitely some differences here that have been improved. Uh, and also here where the bullet seats, they switched it to the other side. So what's the big deal with the roller delay blowback? Uh, first off, it slows down the bolt and you have less mass with the bolt. We're going to look at that and we break it down. But one of the tried and true proven designs of the roller block is the HK MP5. Now this is actually a Zenith uh, which is built on uh, HK machinery. Uh, but this is a very soft shooting gun. It just delays the action of the bolt. A lot of the gas passes through and then typically the bolt is less mass. So there's less coming back on you and yet, you know, it just slows it down. Uh, and these have been really proven designs. So it was really cool when Grand Power introduced the SP9A3. Recoil-wise, they both pretty much feel the same. This one feels a little lighter. Like Grant said, that one feels a little heavier, but I don't really notice, like, it's not that big of a deal. But compared to the other tree bog, that's like shooting nothing. Yeah. And then we have the SP9A1. But with blowback action, it does come back on your shoulder. It's a little sharper recoil. Even though 9mm is not that bad, and this is definitely a great firearm. Uh, the upgrade with the SP9A3 is huge. Now, when I first got this in, it did not have the brace, uh, which makes it very difficult to shoot. Having a brace on it just gives you a lot of advantages. This is the A3 tactical brace with the GearHead Tailworks hook. Uh, so this is a very stable system. Now, a lot of the guns that are being sold now have the SP tactical A3 folding brace, which is a great brace in itself. Uh, and then there are a lot of options out there to be able to attach to your firearm. And that's one of the things about the Grand Power is that there is a lot of aftermarket support. In fact, we did a whole full video on a lot of the upgrades. Grand Power did develop their own brace, and we were kind of waiting on this. We got it about mid-review, uh, but this is a PDW-style brace. It does collapse into the firearm, makes it really small. And you have your steel rods here. And they use one of the GearHead Works tail hooks. Uh, this is really an incredible brace. It is aluminum, uh, but there's a button here on top. We just depress it, and then it pulls it straight out. And so it gives you just that really collapsible stock. You also have QD points on either side. And then when you want to bring it in, just hit the button and then bring it in. It is two position and um, it's really sturdy. These are running on the Gun Zone Deals website, $350, and that includes the tail hook as well. But this is probably the most sturdy brace on the market. Now again, Gun Zone Deals did send the SP9A3 for this review. Uh, but one thing that they offer that no one else has is they do custom colors. They do FDE, they do some camo colors, they even do a matte black finish in Cerakote. And you can go to the Gun Zone Deals website and check out the different things they offer. It's usually a two to three week delay uh, once you buy the firearm to go ahead and get it custom colored. This is extruded aluminum and it is strong. Again, these were designed as full auto machine guns. We have M-Lock on the sides, both three and nine o'clock. And then we have Picatinny rail at the bottom and monolithic Picatinny rail across the top. Now these already have backup sights installed and they just flip up. So this makes it really great to have. It's just already on your rifle, and uh, they, these are polymer, but you can get the steel upgrades. But one of the big advantages of these sights is they have a little notch, even in the down position, to where you can actually sight this in, even at the front. The steel does not have that. And then the front blade does have a small little white dot, easy to see. The barrel is 8 inches. It's a cold hammer forge barrel, and we do have a thread protector here. It is threaded. Uh, this is half by 28 threads, and it has a little knurling on here, so you can attach compensator, suppressor, whatever. The grip has aggressive texturing, but yet it's really smooth in your hand. Uh, I like the angle. It's a little bit more straight down, which is a natural grip. Uh, we do have our safety, which is ambidextrous right here, and it is very subdued. I like that. It doesn't get in your way. Uh, then we have our mag release right here, and uh, steel, and it is ambidextrous as well. It just pops the magazines right out. 
Then we have our bolt stop or bolt release right here. And again, it is also ambidextrous. And then right here at the front of the magwell, we have a lot of aggressive texturing here. It's going to give you a good firm grip. Uh, but one thing I do recommend is putting some kind of hand stop up here because this is really your natural place to hold it. And you don't want to get your hand out past the barrel. The laser engraving on the receiver is really nice. Uh, you have all the matching serial numbers with the upper and the lower. This is imported by Global Ordnance out of Sarasota, Florida, and it is in 9mm. I'm a big fan of the A3 tactical brace, and it does fold to the side. Makes it a really compact firearm. Okay, now the trigger action. There's no take up, hardly at all. And then a nice crisp break. I mean, that is really nice for this type of firearm. Reset, right there. It's a little mushy reset, but you can feel it tactile, and um, then you're just right back on it. Now we're going to check trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge from Brownells. Eight pounds, 10.8 ounces, and that's about what we're getting. Now a lot of people think that might be a little heavy, but because it's so crisp, it belies the trigger pull weight. I want to thank Fioki for sponsoring the ammo, um, all made in the USA. Guys, especially when you have something like this, you tend to go through the ammo faster and um, because it's just so much fun. Guys, I was really interested to see what the SP9A3 would offer over the standard SP9A1. Uh, I'm a big fan of the A1. Uh, you know, it's the standard blowback action. It did have a little bit of bump, which is funny because 9mm definitely has a little more recoil because of the blowback than your standard 223 with a gas operated system. And so, with the roller delayed blowback, it's going to soften the recoil. Taking it out to the range, first shots. Honestly, I was surprised at the difference. I mean, it made a major difference in shooting. One of the big differences you'll notice is that with that heavier bolt, you've got it coming back. Uh, there's a lot of bolt mass. It's a, it's a heavy mass bolt. And with the blowback action, it's just solid bringing it back against your shoulder. Uh, to be honest with you, putting it up to your cheek, uh, the brace, it does cause a little bit of jarring, which is typical. But it's still manageable, and I still have loved the SP9A1. With the SP9A3, there is very little kickback. I mean, it is a significant difference in recoil. What's funny is all the action seems to be up here in the front. And so when you're shooting it, you know, having just a good solid grip, putting a small little um, hand stop on here would even be better. And then as far as reliability goes, uh, with our standard SP9A1, we've never had any issues with both the Gen 1 and the Gen 2. I mean, they just were flawless. And the magazines have been just great for us. Uh, we haven't had any kind of problems, even though, again, you know, there have been some issues with magazines from some people. Uh, but with the new addition of the steel feed lips, I think this is addressed about any kind of issue you can have. <laughs> this thing is beefy, and of course, with the redesign of the feed lips and other details, it just makes it even more reliable. And so, guys, these guns, and we've shot a lot of rounds through them, have just continued to impress us with reliability and honestly, even with accuracy. Now typically this is the way that the SP9A3 will come. Uh, it will come with just a plate back here, but there are a ton of adapters you can get for this, a lot of choices. Now we're going to just remove this pin in the back. and It can be a little tight, so we're going to pop it out. Now this back plate just says take a little mallet, pop it down. And then it comes right out. And the charging handle, when you bring it all the way back with the bolt tension released, you can just pull this right out and switch it to the other side. So you can put this on whichever side you want to. Now here's the SP9A1. You can see that uh, your bolt comes loose. It just has a large bar right here. Again, guys, these were made for full automatic fire. And then we have the A3. Now there's a small pin right here that will fall out very easily. It's just held into the receiver and it just turns and it moves. 
there you can see it a little bit differently. Uh, the bar is much more abbreviated and again it's much smaller than the SP9A1. And this is actually the Gen 2 and then this is the SP9A3. You'll also notice that while this part is removable it is not removable on the SP9A3. And you can see that this is actually the bolt and this up here is the larger area uh, where you have the rotating system. So it actually rotates the bar just like this. So when it's coming in and out, it just rotates like this. It doesn't necessarily rotate the bolt itself. Now let's weigh the different bolts. The SP9A3, 14.6 ounces. SP9A1, 23.4 ounces. So that really makes a big difference with what's coming back to your shoulder. But the roller lock delay also reduces the felt recoil. Now when you put your pin in, you've got to make sure that it is in the utmost position or it won't fit into the back of the receiver. Now we want to put it on our rear plate. We want to come down a little bit and then push up. Once you have it in the up position, just close in your lower and then push the pin through. It comes with a nice hard case. Uh, you get three 30 round magazines and again these are <clears throat> the reinforced magazines which I really like. And you get your owner's manual, your lock, and you get an extra set of sights but these are polymer. Now this definitely doesn't make the SP9A1 obsolete by any stretch of the imagination. This is a great firearm uh, but if you just want to reduce your recoil impulse the delayed roller blowback action just really works well. Uh, it definitely tames the recoil, but in 9mm with this size pistol, it's not a big deal. So, no, I'm not getting rid of my SP9A1, but I'll be shooting my SP9A3 a lot more. Now, the retail price on the Grand Power Strybog SP9A3 is $1,150. Um, on the Gun Pro Deals website, they have them for $1,150, but with the addition of the SP Tactical Folding Brace, which is fairly pricey. And so that really gets it down there to a very reasonable price. Here's the thing, guys, especially the original SP9A1s, uh, they were coming in at about $850, the lowest price of any PDW-style pistol caliber carbine and pistol configuration out on the market. And yet you're getting a very robust, very quality firearm. Again, I've been nothing but impressed with the Strybog line, also with their handguns. They're really known in the competitive circuits in Europe for being very flat shooting, rotating barrel design. I mean, they're just excellent in themselves. So the Strebog is definitely just a continuation of what Grand Power does, and that's just put out good firearms. So again, I want to thank Nate over at Gun Zone Deals, formerly Gun Pro Deals, uh, for sending the Strebog for this test and evaluation. The SP9A3, guys, is an upgrade that's worth it. If you really want to get that recoil down, I mean, you really want to have that flat shooting firearm uh, this is a great way to go. So many different accessories you can put on these. I mean, the aftermarket support is really growing for these firearms. And now with the steel feed lips, uh, it just addresses a lot of the issues that were going on before. So check out the Grand Power Strybog uh, SP9A3. This thing is just an incredible little firearm. Rubber Dummies is one of the best training tools on the market, and you get a 10% discount using Suit00 when you click the link down in the description. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Gland power. Gland power. What is that? Is that adolescence? <laughs> Gland power. And being able to really get a good <clears throat> non-reciprocating bolt, and then now the grip has some really. Now the grip has good. Now the grip has a tech. We're going to put it at the back of the receiver. The bolt area right there to enter into the back of the receiver. Guys, we've done a number of reviews.
We've done a number of re reviews, reviews, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers. <laughs> What's a buggy bumper? 